Hello everyone, welcome to another soulful sip conversation. I would like to invite you to grab one of your favorite drinks, tea or coffee, and join me for a brief contemplation about one of the sweetest and smallest animals in the world, the hummingbird. Well, the inspiration for this contemplation is coming from recent and frequent visits of the hummingbird into my life. Whenever these kind of synchronicities happen in my life, where I see a symbol multiple times in a limited time frame, I usually take this as an invitation to invite the presence of that particular symbol, plant or animal into my life so that I can learn more about its wisdom, its teachings. Historically, of course, I knew a little bit more about hummingbird, but when I think about my first personal encounter, um, I had a fascinating experience a couple of years ago when I was traveling in Arizona or in the Utah region, primarily in Moab, the particular hotel I was staying in. The owner had some hanging nectars uh, in the garden and they were providing food for these beautiful animals and it was providing lots of fascinating experiences for me to observe these little small birds. I was able to grab my morning coffee, just find my seat and patiently wait for these beautiful birds to arrive. And I still remember the first time I was able to see them hovering around the nectar, just standing still up in the air. That moment made me feel like time stopped for a second. <laughs> they just made everything look so easy. <laughs> um, and of course, what they do is such a beautiful dance in the air, but it's definitely not easy. <laughs> I think it took them quite a long time to go through many adaptations to be able to embody that lightness that ease of movement. And recently I watched a documentary talking a little bit about the biology of these magical animals. They are really very tiny and small. When you look into the average hummingbird, it's only a couple of grams, like really very small and very light. And this actually emerged as an adaptation that they have to go through to be able to survive in the high altitudes of Northern America. And in these altitudes, they were the pollinators for tough to reach flowers. And because these flowers were really hiding well, they had to fly towards them and hover around the flowers to be able to get the nectar. And just to be able to make this feasible over time, they had to turn into smaller versions of themselves and they had to learn quite a lot of aerial skills that make them quite different from other birds. Unlike other birds that take power by their upward movement, they can, hummingbirds can get power from downward and upward movement at the same time. And their speed is unlike any bird. Their heartbeats can go up to 1200 beats per minute when they are flying. And in a normal flight, they can wing their um, wings like more than 70 to 80 times. And when they are peaking, this can increase up to 200 phenomenal animals. And they don't only move forward towards their targets, nectar or flowers. They can also move back and they can also go down. So they are really like dancers up in the air. <laughs> making flying so easy and so flexible and so adaptable. So of course, the first thing that came to mind is really lightness of being when you see this beautiful animals. But the second important pillar or wisdom that they introduce is really perseverance. Their perseverance to adapt into this tough and challenging situations to be able to get the nectar out of these flowers. And again, it's such an inspirational story to learn how they go to this tough to reach flowers and get the nectar out of them and help them pollinate. So there's definitely quite a lot of dedication 
perseverance around their actions as well. And another interesting fact I learned was the fact that they rest 80% of the time. Such deep wisdom over there too, which supports the perseverance. So to be able to persevere, they have to rest and recover. To be able to move at that speed, to be able to reach their targets at that precision, they have to rest 80% of the time when they are not flying towards their targets. Isn't it beautiful? Small birds, but so much wisdom that we can learn from them. They represent the lightness of being. They represent the determination, perseverance, with power, <laughs> with dedication. And they represent the easefulness of dedicated movement when we allow enough space for rest and recovery to happen. So we can preserve the life energy and use it with precision, with elegance, with lightness when we need it. Well, beginning of 2024 is an interesting time for many of us to think about what we would like to see more in our lives. We are always thinking about adding more and adding more. And at this time of the year, the visitation of Hummingbird made me remember another important question to ask in the beginning of the year. Instead of adding more, how can I introduce more lightness into your life and subtract some of the things that doesn't belong to your life anymore? When I think about my own life, over the last few years, when I realized that I would like to achieve some more difficult targets, more challenging to reach targets, I realized that I had to adapt a different strategy to be able to reach those targets too. And on the personal side, this meant that I had to be more flexible, more mobile, more adaptive, to leave it more with uncertainty and to be lighter so that I could be more responsive to the uncertainties that I've been going through in my life. Just one reflection of that turned out to be me closing my home that I've been living 10 years. And I eliminated quite a lot of clutter from my life, personal life, relationships, decluttering my home, decluttering my lifestyle so that I can move with ease and with the lightness of being instead of being clocked down and being stuck in the old world that I know was not aligned with the person that I would like to be. So this was just another personal reflection of how the wisdom of hummingbird emerged in my life. And of course, this is a continuous journey. Every year, I am learning more about myself and I am adapting to the changing circumstance of the world and I'm integrating more of the hummingbird wisdom. And maybe I needed to embody this wisdom even more this year than at this particular time of the year. While we are beginning a new year, the hummingbird visited me frequently again. And I would like to take a moment to honor this visit and share a little bit of its wisdom with you too. Of course, the meaning is very personal. What you will get out of this contemplation might be very different given your personal circumstances and given your own meaning of the hummingbird. But regardless, I think it's a universal theme to see that hummingbird represent the lightness of being, joyfulness of being, playfulness of being. And this could be an amazing time to invite more of lightness of being into our lives. Instead of adding more and more, what can you subtract from your life? What can you eliminate from your life? More so that you can be lighter, more ready and more welcoming for the changes that you would like to see more in your world in this new year. I hope this gives you some inspiration and some invitation to welcome more of Hummingbird's wisdom into your life. Thank you all. See you in the next contemplation. Till that time, stay beautiful, awaken to your inner beauty and create more of it. Please externally share it with others.
Bye for now.